Hey guys, this is Martin again and welcome back to our Burp mini series with tips and tricks. And today I want to show you a use case for the curl command, right? And so if we come in here, it's one of the ports with the labs and I'm going to change the email address to 12 at test.com like this, right? And then I'm going to change it to testatest.com. So just that we have a, a few um, use cases. And then finally, I'm changing it to 123 at test.com. Okay. Just like this. So right now it's at 123 at test.com. Okay. And what I go, what I can do now is I can come over here to my burp history and I, I see those requests, right? Like this is the one where I set it to one, two, three at test.com. Here's the post request where I send it to test at test.com. And let's take this one, like the middle one. And what I can do is simply click, right click here and say, um, uh, copy as curl command bash, right? just like this, boom. And then I copy this and then I go to my local bash window, okay? And then I paste it here. And then you can see this, um, it's basically has created, so Burp has created for you a curl command, which is a Linux command line tool, um, which is often very useful to um, change things and stuff like that. So as you can see here, you, you, you're passing the, the user agent header, for example. So it's taking all this from the original Burp request, which was captured basically, right? And then um, you see here like the, the, the accept uh, text HTML, application X HTML and XML and those kind of things. So basically everything you would see in the repeater request. And it's also passing along the actual binary data for our change, which is the CSRF token and the email address. And it also, says which one is the destination, like where we are actually performing this action on, right? So su super simple. And I just can hit enter here and then see what happens. And I get a, a 302 response. And basically, if all went well, my email should be changed back to test at test.com. Let's refresh here. And it is, right? So this is, it's useful because sometimes you want to script things. Sometimes you want to, you know, put things into a loop, into a while loop, for example, in, in a bash script or a Python script or something like this. And then curl is like one of the go to um, tools on the on the Linux CLI. And you know, like burp provides you this super easy. Uh, you just come in here, go to the request, and then you simply say copy as curl command bash. And that's it. Okay, I hope this makes sense. And you find this useful. And I see you in the next lab.